version 1.2 here, determine the current flowing through an element if the charge flow is given by uh, these equations. So the concept is that the relationship between a charge and a current is this, right? So it's the amount of, like, current is the amount of charge flow by a, a wire. So it's a wire, and we say this is the specific point that we're looking at, right? So, like, this point, the current at this point tells us that, okay, there's, like, X amount of charge flow by this point uh, per second, right? So, now... Every, we have to do like calculus stuff because you know uh, if we just say divided by uh, then you know the change of t then it would just be like um, linear uh, linear equations right so we have to use calculus uh, to say that d t, dq dt uh, times dt gives us i right because you know we use uh, we do the usual uh, let's take the limit of t equals to zero blah 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 you know you, you've been through all that and then calc one and calc two okay so now we realize the relationship is the amount of charge passed through a point in a wire in a specific uh, in a very small amount of time uh, that would gives us current right so which is basically take the integral of the equation that's giving uh, in respect of time. So the first uh, first one is pretty straightforward, uh, three micro uh, coulomb. Now, if you take the derivative of three, it's just zero, right? Because it's constant. What is derivative again? Right? Is the change? Well, usually we say, okay, what's the slope? Slope is the rise, rise over run, right? But it's actually, to be more specific, is the change of slope uh, at a given second. And if it's like constant, well. There's no change, it's just zero, right? And for B, uh, if we take the derivative, I don't think I need to go through like the derivative of this, right? So, uh, I mean, okay, so x to the power of n, the derivative is n x x minus one, right? So so what is four, uh, four t squared? Well, that's just a t, right, okay. Uh, so it would be 8t plus 20, and then the 4 uh, disappears because it's a constant, right? And go over to c, and uh, e to the power of x, uh, the derivative of that is still e to the power of x, right? So, But there's a negative 3 in front of it, so I have to take that down. So it's negative 45 uh, e to the power of negative 3t minus, well, it's a plus because negative 18 is going to come down, which is going to make a positive, and 36e to the power of negative 18 t and uh, this is current right and then the last one d i mean sorry second last so this we can just like distribute it so so 14 t to the power of 5 uh, plus 20 t to the power of 2 and if we take the derivative uh, d dqt uh, dt it's going to give us uh, 45, sorry, 65 uh, t to the power of 4, right? I think I think that's right. Wait, hold on. Huh. Yeah, yeah, this is 5. Wait, I was having a brewing freeze right here. Okay, so 5 times 5, 75 uh, t to the power of 4 plus uh, 4t t right fantastic okay last one so this is we have just used the product rule right the product rule states that like if we take the derivative of uh, like x and, and x something like a different form then it's x x y plus uh, x y plus x Wait, times x. So uh, it's a bad, bad example. Wait, hold on. So f of x, g of x. There we go. Okay. Now we're being more a uh, mathematician. So it's it's f of x, g prime of x, uh, and then it's uh, g of x, 
and then i prime of x, right? Okay, so so f of x it will be two times e to the power of negative three t, and g of x in this case will be sine of a twenty pi t. Okay, so in that case we will just so we we'll leave the first one e to the power of negative three t uh, times well what's the derivative of that? It would just be times a uh, twenty cosine of twenty pi t, right? And then plus uh, well, this case will be negative because it's negative three, and then we take the so we leave uh, the sine twenty pi t, and then the negative three is going to come down, so it will be uh, negative minus six, right? We'll just write it over here, and then the e to the power of negative three t, because e to the power of x, the derivatives of that are just e to the power of x. Okay, and you can simplify that a little. bit. Bit, I guess uh, you can say e to the power of negative 2t. Uh, it's going to give us 4t cosine of 20 pi t minus uh, 6 sine of 20 pi t. And we are done. And this is another uh, current. So, yeah, uh, you know, if you're understand the relationship, uh, these questions should be pretty uh, straightforward and simple. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.